Hi everyone, it's Jung here for HipKit Club, and today I'm going to be sharing a layout that I created with the July 2019 Hip Kits. I was also challenged to use a lot of stars on my layout and to be inspired by the mood board. I actually made the mood board this month, so I was excited to be using it. I'm going to use that banner as my inspiration, as well as the image with all the rainbow 3D um, stars. So my first idea was to go ahead and punch a whole bunch of stars from the different pattern paper in the kits. I was trying to go for areas that weren't so busy and more solid like that pink fresh studio paper. I went ahead off camera and punched a whole bunch of stars like you see here. And I punched some from the cardstocks in the cardstock kit as well. And when I saw how they were punching, I thought it looked really cool and would make a great um, banner kind of and so uh, for the rest of the cardstocks I measured it out and punched them every one and a half inch or so and uh, I created these strips and I really liked the way they looked and so I decided to go with that instead of all the punch stars. I will use a couple but I can always save them for a later project. I decided to add a little bit of color to my white cardstock background and I wanted to do a tone on tone look and so I'm going to kind of try and go in a rainbow order and um, all the inks and um, powders that I'm using are from previous uh, color kits for Hip Kit Club. And I'm going to start off with pink. And this is a shimmers product. I'm a little bit lazier with my mixed media so I like to get the sprays. I can stick my brush in and just splatter it. But these uh, Lindy Stamp Gang Magical Powders are pretty cool. This is the one that we got from last month's color kit, I believe. And I'm going to use that one powder for two colors. I'm going to use it a little bit more concentrated to uh, use it for my orange color. And then I'll water it down a little bit more to use my yellow color. Now, I wanted it to match my cardstock a little bit more, and so um, I'm going to add a little bit of that pink shimmer spray that I used for the pink side, and that's what I'll use for my orange. I'll go ahead and add a little bit more water to the color that I've created already to use that as my yellow. I've also got a little DIY mixed media tip for you, that little paint palette to my right. I just made that by trimming a piece of white cardstock and running it through my laminating machine. I like using it as a palette because it has that slick surface that I'm easily able to wipe off. And I like that there's a white base so you can easily see the um, true color of the mixed media that you're using. Okay, now on to the blue color. I'm going to be using that uh, magical powder. I believe that one was from last month's color kit as well. It's a little bit too turquoisey and bright for uh, the cardstock, so I'm going to mix in a little bit of the shimmers, and we got this, I want to say, at least a year ago, but I'm going to use that for my blue. For the purple, I was going to mix in a little bit of that pink magical powder, but I decided just to use the shimmers pink instead that I had used in the very beginning. And I'm just going to mix those two together to create a purple that somewhat matches the cardstock. I cannot recommend that you pick up the Hip Kit Club Color Kips enough. These products will last you for years. Those shimmer sprays were at least a year old, so yeah, definitely pick them up when you can. Okay, so I'm just going to take my project off camera and sew on the strips of stars, as you can see here. And I decided that the strips needed a little bit of ink splatter too, so I went ahead and splattered the other colors off camera. And I'm just going to show you how I'm adding more color to the pink one. Okay, so here's the photo that I'll be using. It's of my oldest daughter a couple of years ago. She won an award at school, and I'm just now getting around to scrapping it. Um, it is a square photo that I printed on a piece of 4x6 photo paper and I just trimmed it to look like a Polaroid photo because I really like that look. I'm just going to back it on this orange plaid pattern paper and I'm doing my messy but not so messy ripping technique. So just a little bit more about my photo. Each quarter, the teachers get to choose one student from all their classes that exemplifies Wildcat Pride. And this is a photo of my daughter and the teacher who nominated her. It's her language arts teacher. 
and she gave my daughter the award for um, brilliant writing, avid reading, and natural leadership. We were so happy we got to see her receive her award before school one day, and we couldn't be more proud. Okay, so back to my layout. I was going to try and use some of the punch stars on my layout. And I'm also looking through the ephemera included in the different kits. There's a couple of items from Just a Little Lovely, the new Pink Fresh Studio collection, which I already love. And then there's this, um, I think it's the wood, let me see, wood accent stickers from the new Pink Fresh Studio Office Hours collection. And it just kind of reminds me of wall art that you would have in your house or like posters. And um, I really liked the one that said work and it has a, you know, an image of a pencil and a pen and a marker. And I thought that was very fitting for a school layout. And so then I decided that I would try and keep the uh, tone on tone theme going and so I was looking through the embellishments to try and look for tone on tone accents to match the uh, star banners. I'm going to be using this 3D embellishment from One Canoe 2. It's the blue camera and I'm going to stick it on the blue stars. I really like how the foam that they used is thin foam. Sometimes these embellishment comes with like really thick foam and I end up, end up changing it for my uh, thin foam anyway so I can appreciate that this doesn't stick up too high. And then I'm just going to add some of these Pink Fresh Studio flowers that I fussy cut from a piece of pattern paper. I like the uh, black and white accents. And then these are Pink Fresh Studio puffy stickers from the Just a Little Lovely collection. Um, I'm using that circle that says one awesome day and then this rectangle says the future is waiting I think it says it says the future is exciting I'm going to look through the hip kit club exclusive die cuts and these are some gorgeous tropical floral images and I was trying to fit those in but some of the colors were a little bit too bold and again I wanted to keep it tone on tone with my uh, star banners but I do end up choosing a flower that I really liked that I placed between the orange and yellow star banners and it's that one right there. Okay, so now that I liked where everything was placed, I went ahead and attached them off camera. I used a combination of liquid glue and foam adhesive for dimension. And now I was trying to think of a title and um, sometimes titles are tricky. Sometimes when I have a hard time thinking of a title, I'll go to Pinterest and I'll look up for example, in this case, I looked up scrapbooking titles for school and um, I'll get some inspiration there. And um, I decided to go with star student and I thought it was very fitting for my star filled layout. And at first I was debating whether or not to use the uh, gold or the white stickers that we got in the kits, but I like how the uh, white stickers really go with the uh, black and white flowers and I like that it doesn't uh, draw too much attention to itself. I always want my uh, focus to be on the photo so I went with the white stickers. So now that I have my title in place, I want to see where I want to add more embellishments. I am going to add some journaling strips um, later on, but I wanted to keep that a little bit private because it has the name of her school and her teacher's name and stuff. So I'm just going to keep in mind that I want to leave room for journaling strips. I'm going to be using some of the uh, punch stars. And I'm just going to try and squeeze them in in some of the spaces that I think need a little something extra. And again, I'm going to keep with the tone on tone color scheme. And um, yeah, I'm just going to be moving around stars and eventually I will um, glue them with liquid glue. Some of them I'll pop up with uh, foam squares. 
And I decided I needed uh, another size of stars, so I pulled out this teeny tiny star punch, and I'm going to punch a couple of those. I knew I needed um, some more purple elements because I don't have very many um, lavender uh, colored embellishments, which I know that purple is supposed to be a um, hard color to scrap. I don't, I don't know why that is i love the color purple so yeah you don't find too many purple embellishments although lately the pink fresh studio just a little lovely collection has some purples in it and i know uh paige evans uses some purple in her collections as well which is awesome i'm also excited to see all the rainbow themes in the scrapbooking collections uh, whether it be subtle or straight out rainbow, um, I'm loving it. What about you guys? What have you been what have you been loving uh, in the new scrapbooking collections? All right, I think all I have left on this layout to do is to glue on the stars. I will say at the beginning, I was kind of overwhelmed because there were so many things on the mood board that I was inspired by and that I wanted to try. I wanted to make those banners. I wanted to do like a bright uh, rainbow pattern of stars and I was a, a bit overwhelmed, but you know, once I started punching out my stars and then I saw how they looked on the cardstock, things just started coming to me. So, um you know, if you're struggling, just start and uh, inspiration will come to you. So that is it for me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please um, subscribe to the Hip Kit Club channel and don't forget to uh, stop by the Hip Kit Club website to check out these kits. The August kit has already been revealed and I'm loving it already. So uh, I will have all the links and information in the info bar below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I want to put you on. Up above, above, so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I want.